Hey, so about a year ago, I made the Purple Haze, which is a Arnold Palmer with lavender and made it with a special tea, which is from First Watch. And people watched it and I didn't know people watched it. And I somehow did not see any of the comments of people asking for more clear instructions and ingredients and all the stuff. So I'm just gonna make an easy video with the stuff ready on hand to make so you can learn how to make it. And it's pretty simple. Um, so yeah, this is what the drink looks like if you haven't watched it or watched it. If you haven't seen the drink, it's really good. It's like really refreshing. It's a great summer drink. I'm obviously on first watch's Facebook. This is what it looks like. It's the purple haze. And okay. It's really pretty. It has a pretty gradient and that's honestly like the hardest part of the drink. And it's described as the new purple haze juice combines lemon, lavender, and butterfly pea flower tea. Purple haze is part of their new jumpstart menu, and it's only available for a limited time. It was available for like a hot minute. And I have a feeling it was very popular because it's very good. And sometimes they have special drinks that really aren't good. Like they had a cayenne one I didn't really like. And they have one now that's like a pineapple something. I don't remember the name, but I haven't tried it yet. So the next time I go, I can try it and remake that if I think that's something that would be good and easy for people to do for if they want to do it at home okay so the ingredients I use are for the lemonade I'm making my own lemonade you don't have to you can just get normal lemonade but I'm doing it that way the lemonade will be heavier literally heavier more dense because I'm gonna sweeten it with honey because honey is a heavy sweetener um, I definitely spent today making the other video showing all the little steps of how I made everything and ended up destroying the drink three times. So I am redoing a quick video so you can just know. So I'm making lemonade, so I have lemon juice, honey, and lavender syrup. So basically I'm just gonna make lemonade. So I'll just do the lemon juice with honey, mix it up with water. And then I'll pour that on the bottom of the glass. Then I have my tea that I brewed. And in that lemonade, I'm gonna add the lavender syrup. That way it can be a lavender lemonade. And then I'm gonna brew the tea in a glass, make it plain. That way there's no weight or density to it. And then you'll have the tea, which is lighter than the lemonade, and it can just float on top and make the pretty purple gradient. I'm gonna do three, just end with the water and sugar. That was on, um, I can put the link for that too if you want an exact, super intense instructional. But simple syrup is really easy. That's why it's called simple syrup. So I have the lavender with the sugar and the water, and I'm going to mix it together. And then I'm going to put it on the eye. I'm putting this on the eye at a level eight. I will let the sugar dissolve all the way while whisking the sugar, the lavender flowers, and the water together. Once the sugar is completely dissolved, I'm gonna turn it down to a two or three and let it simmer for 15 minutes. And then after the 15 minutes, I let it cool completely. I did not drain the lavender flowers and it did not end up tasting soapy. So I would leave the lavender flowers in it while it cooled completely, which took an hour. And then after an hour, I just transferred it into a jar. So this is it simmering and I have a 15 minute timer set and I'm just gonna take it off the heat and let it cool completely before I do anything with it. Okay, so I'm about to show you how I make it. You, there, you can also just not make your lemonade and syrup and everything from scratch. You can just buy lemonade, order lavender syrup. I can link that below too, but I decided to make mine from scratch because I like to do things like that. So I'm gonna take my lemon juice, I'm gonna do it in a separate container and then add it in the glass so I can choose the concentration. So I'm taking my lemon juice and I'm gonna do a large squirt. I'm like running out, it's fine. So I've got another one. So I'm gonna do a large squirt of honey. Then I'm going to take the lavender syrup. Now, the lavender syrup is strong. You don't really need more than one shot, so I'm adding one shot of it. This, I added uh, about three quarters of a lemon's worth of juice. That way the sweetness wouldn't overpower the tartness. So I've added the lavender syrup, the honey, and then the lemon. I'm going to use my frother 
and combine those that way it can be the concentrate juice okay it's getting kind of frothy but I gotta make sure it's all mixed together okay it's very foamy so I have to let that go down a little bit I'm gonna rinse this off. The spoon to block all of the bubbles because we don't want those. Not that they offend us, but I just don't think it'll add anything. <laughs> and then I'm gonna fill this about to the halfway point, maybe a little bit higher actually with water. Honestly, it's about three fourths full. I might pour just a bit out, but I feel like it's better to have more lemonade because the purple is going to end up like meshing with it a little bit. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to zoom you in so you can see how I do it. Okay, so to get the layered effect, I'm going to first pour this tea into a shaker. That way I can make it ice cold because it is warm because I just made the tea. So I'm going to shake it up. And I don't actually think it's when it gets cold it turns purple. I think it's when you combine it with other liquids. So... I've got my tea. I'm gonna put the spoon right on the edge of the glass and pour the tea lightly onto the spoon. That way it's not too heavy. Ooh. And you want the spoon basically touching the surface of the lemonade. That way it's not splashing too far down. And you slowly raise it up as you pour more tea to keep it on the surface because you don't want it to dip into it too much. Okay, that's pretty full. So. That's how you make it. It's really simple, really easy. I'm putting a lemon slice just for it to be cute because why not? And that is the purple haze. Now, if you wanted to make it for a party or guests, you can also make it in advance because this one is the one that I actually did mess up earlier. And this has been made for about 30 minutes. So this is the drink. It's really refreshing. It's really nice. It's honestly pretty much simple to make. If there are any questions, feel free to ask. I will check my comments. Also just wanted to state what you see floating and the one that's been sitting for 30 minutes is just because the lemon pulp and honey hadn't been mixed up in a while. Also forgot to add, if you wanna add ice, add ice after this point. So maybe don't fill up the cups all the way if you wanna add ice and it tastes the best when you mix it together. So mix it together or you'll just be drinking the unflavored tea on top and you'll wonder why I even recommended this drink. Okay, bye.